CC Fine Tea back again for another brewing video. We are really excited because we just got a new shipment of our most popular oolong tea, which is the Taiwanese High Mountain Oolong Ali Shan, which you can see the package, packaging for that here. It's um, vacuum packed, so it stays very fresh. And this is um, 5.3 ounces, which is about uh, 150 grams. So. Today, we're going to be comparing the new harvest here on this side, which was picked in October of 2021, and our previous lot on this side, which was harvested in spring of 2021. So they look very similar. Maybe you can see, hold these up, little dark green, sort of half ball rolled oolong shape. This one looks quite similar. And this is where it's really fun to brew them side by side because we can really pick apart what is the difference in uh, freshness and uh, harvest season. So generally what we would expect is for spring harvest to be more floral, more of those flowery aromas, and for fall and winter harvest to be uh, smoother, creamier, and a little bit sweeter. So let's find out. Um, I also want to mention it's almost Valentine's Day and these just arrived, so this might be the perfect gift for your special someone. Just something to consider. All right, let's brew. So today we're brewing with uh, porcelain gaiwans. You might be able to see that I have a smaller gaiwan and a bigger gaiwan, so I'm using a little bit less leaf in the smaller and a little more in the bigger. Um, hopefully this can help you keep track of which one is which. So the bigger gaiwan is the new fall harvest, and the smaller gaiwan is our previous spring harvest. So let's go. the tea in here. And maybe you can see I'm just sort of covering the bottom of each of the guy ones. If you don't have a gram scale or want to measure with teaspoons or tablespoons, this is a great way to judge whether you have enough tea. It's more of an art than a science um, and everybody has their personal preference for how much to use. Okay, so I have hot water. We recommend about 195 degrees Fahrenheit, which I believe is like 90 or 95 Celsius. I don't remember exactly. Um, and first, we are doing a rinse to wake up the leaves. So I'm just gonna pour the rinse water off. And I'm already smelling this creamy, flowery fragrance from these as soon as I put water on them, which is really exciting. It smells super fresh, like springtime air. <laughs> so I'm going to take a sniff of the wet leaves. So the new autumn harvest is almost a little bit like toasty, not like toast or nuts, but like maybe you smell somebody was baking cookies. <laughs> it's very sweet smelling and I do smell flowers. The spring harvest one is very similar. It has that same like sweet baked goods, floral, creamy aroma, but it's not quite as strong or fresh. It's very close. I can tell that this one's slightly older. So I'm just gonna discard the rinse water so we don't need that anymore. And let's do our first brew. So when you're brewing with a gaiwan, you don't want to fill it too high. I always forget that and then my fingers get hot on the top rim of it. So I'm making sure to leave that bit of space you can see here from the edge. And it's really up to you how long you want to let it brew. Guy ones are convenient because you can take a peek inside and see how it's looking, how strong it's getting. 
um, and the white porcelain background makes that even easier. So this is great for beginners and experienced tea drinkers alike. All right, it's been maybe a minute, maybe 50 seconds, um, and when I peek under the Gaiwan's lid, I can see that the leaves have started to puff up and uncurl. I'm also seeing a little bit of a pale golden color to the liquid, so that means it's ready to pour. And again, if I'm comparing between the two, they are uncurling at just about the same rate. I would say the spring harvest leaves, it's interesting, they are just a little bit on the browner side and the new uh, fall harvest is slightly more vibrant green, but again, they're very close. So let's pour. If you're new to using a gaiwan, this can take a little bit of practice. So we like to recommend maybe practice with uh, cold water first. <laughs> I have dropped a guy one before, it's not pretty. <laughs> okay, number two. Here we go. It smells so good. Like butter and fresh cut grass is what comes to my mind. All right, so before we drink, I'm gonna smell the wet leaves again, see if anything else has come out. They smell a little more different now that they've opened up. So the uh, autumn harvest, it's very rich. There's almost a savory note to it with that intense creaminess, super floral. And the uh, spring harvest that's now, I don't know, six months older, it has all of those same notes, but there's a little bit of a slighter flatness to it. It still smells wonderful, but it has a tiny hint of what I associate with an older oolong smell. Okay, and we're gonna compare the two tea liquids. Oh, let me grab some cups here. All right, so autumn harvest first, and spring harvest on this side. Now this isn't super scientific because I'm not using exactly the same size guy wands with exactly you know the same amount of leaf, but you may be able to see the fall harvest one is a little darker and more yellow, and the spring harvest one is a little paler and greener, which is interesting. That isn't what I would have guessed, but goes to show. Might be because of my brewing style. Okay, I'm gonna taste them. First, I'm going to taste our previous lot, the spring 2021 Ali Shan. Super sweet, super smooth, creamy, floral, tastes like spring. And this one is the uh, October 21 lot, the new harvest. Wow, all of the freshness and the sweetness and the floral notes are there but the creaminess is amped up to another level. The, um, yeah, the smoothness, the way it fills my mouth, and the aftertaste. I'm getting a little bit more of that like fresh cut grass smell, kind of the flavor version of that in my mouth, if that makes any sense to you guys. <laughs> I could drink this all day, it's so delicious. Yeah, so if you want to um, learn anything more about Taiwanese oolongs, Ali Shan tea, you can check out our blog on our website, ccfinetea.com. And we love sharing tea info with you all, so um, please ask us any questions and we would love to answer. All right, everyone, have a great day and a happy Valentine's Day, and we'll see you next time.